Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I'm coming to you now with the breaking news that Vibes Cartel and PNP lawyer Isaac Buchanan is suspended from practicing law in Jamaica for two years. Isaac Buchanan was suspended because he made some very offensive comments on Andre Stevens' program a few months ago, disagreeing with the DPP. And in the midst of this agreement, he quoted some lyrics from his client, Vibes Cartel. One of the lines in the lyrics said, Paula, who is the DPP, Paula Llewellyn, Paula, quote, go suck a dick, unquote. I personally think that the legal profession, they have to adhere to the rules of conduct and they have to do what they have to do. I am not a big fan of the DPP due to how the prosecution rate in Jamaica for murders especially. They're very low for a country like Jamaica that suffers from murder to the extent in which we do. That being said, I don't think it's right to go out and disagree with her and use that vile language toward her. And if the rules say that that language is not acceptable, then the legal profession has to carry out the rule to uphold and obtain, sorry, sustain the standard, right? Because let's face it, a teacher could not go out there and do those things. She wouldn't have a job tomorrow morning. A medical professional couldn't do that. They wouldn't have a job tomorrow morning. No professional could have do that and survive. ISAT is the human rights attorney for the People's National Party. He represents clients and he's also a part of the legal fraternity. He should not have said that whether he was quoting somebody or whether he was saying those words on his own behalf. So, in my view, the legal fraternity, the disciplinary committee, they did the right thing. I sat, pled guilty to it and now they must take action so the penalty is two years suspension i don't know how that will affect vibes cartel i don't think he's pleased though because as you guys know cartel was approved to go to the privy council in april of 2024 so i'm sure that you know there are legal representatives that will go through the process with him um or to replace I sat okay all right well keep it locked here when you don't know write us so the politics news there the real news the true news and also i want to mention that i don't think the pnp are in a position now to keep i sat as the human rights lawyer so they probably have to replace him so that's the politics for you some people are calling paula Llewellyn, um and this whole thing, politicking, I don't think so. I am not a big fan of the woman, but I'm going to tell the truth. What I said, it was wrong. You can't do that. You can criticize her, sure. But you can't be using that vile, disgusting language toward the lady. That's not right. I said, wouldn't want that for his mother. So he shouldn't do that. And I think maybe that's why he pled guilty. I don't know. An interesting thing about ISAT, for those of you who don't know, ISAT has an interesting story. ISAT was in the United States uh, in a federal prison for 10 years. And he went back to Jamaica after he was released and deported, went to law school, and then appealed, basically. Not appeal, but basically had a lawyer made a case for him why he is eligible to go to the bar. And I think Bert Samuels represented him and he was called to the bar. There was some controversy surrounding it because people were saying if he had done that and did 10 years in prison in Jamaica, he wouldn't be able to do it. Or if it was an average Jamaican living in Jamaica who did that, they wouldn't be able to go to the bar. But anyway, he went to the bar and he's been practicing. So, I mean... Nobody really wants to see this happen to anybody. But as you know, we are big people and we have to use maturity and emotional intelligence, especially when we are in society 
and in politics doing these things. You understand? So hopefully Isat will learn an important lesson from this and move on with his life. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.